Hi, Chad Newsom again with PL Custom Emergency Vehicles. In today's video, we'll tackle the first three stages in the ambulance line, where all the magic happens and everyone's hard work comes together. Once an ambulance hits the line, it's only about one month away from being completed. With a total of seven stages, our team of line installers are meticulously adding the individual unique features requested by the customer to complete the full ambulance build. Stage one is where the electrical lines are laid out, exterior body lights added, and insulation and flooring are installed. Our dual level wall insulation starts with 3M brand Thinsulate, a high temperature acoustic absorbing insulation that resists outside temperature fluctuations, as well as adds superior sound dampening to keep road noises minimal. Next is Reflectix insulation that further provides high efficiency thermal insulation to the inside of the ambulance body. The wiring for all of the body's electrical components and exterior and interior lighting is run front to back, being harnessed to the ceiling and will be eventually hidden behind the ceiling panel. The subflooring is added next, first in an aluminum subfloor then expanded PVC flooring is used due to its non-corrosive and water-resistant nature. The exterior body lights are mounted, wired, and programmed. Additional features like rear-view cameras are added. Additional body lighting like these chassis step lights may also be added at this stage. After approximately 18 and a half hours, the vehicles are ready to be simultaneously moved down the line to the next stage. In stage two, we tackle adding the fuel and death fills, as well as compartment and entrance doors. The fuel and death fills are susceptible to corrosion damage, so the use of an anti-corrosive additive, EK, as well as rubber gaskets, nylock screws, and durable caulk sealants are used. Door assembly comes next for the entrance as well as compartment doors. The door handle mechanisms are installed and any exterior door lighting is wired before adding insulation and interior door panels. Stage three is where some interior cabinets, cab wiring, and grill and fender lights are added. As you can see, the interior of the body is starting to come together with the ceiling panel added along with the seating locations seat belt harnesses, cabinets, cabinet doors, and the start of the life support station. Other compartment features are mounted, such as the Zyco oxygen tank system. Lighting for the interior and exterior of the cab is wired and mounted at this stage according to customer specs, as well as features such as front grille and fender lighting. Stay tuned for more videos detailing the rest of the ambulance line stages. Thanks for watching.